When this helicopter landed, instead of waving for stretcher bearers to come out, the guy told them to stay back and he turned the motor off. And so they start throwing bodies off. And uh, you tell yourself, ah, this Vietnamese. And uh, they threw out a body. The guy had long blonde hair. That's a GI. And they start zipping them up in body bags. They start just stacking them like cordwood. And it was like, okay, they're there. And her dying. That was uh, that was hard. That was hard. All across America, the stories of the wars we fought and the lives we lost are made permanent with monuments. But stone is cold and space is limited. There are, however, virtually no limits in cyberspace and no substitute for a long story told from the heart. A fellow Americans. It was our country's war, but it was their Vietnam. There will never be a time that the Vietnam veteran will be totally uh, satisfied because uh, we think that we're special and, and there's some place in history for us. There's a lot of things that, that are important to me that I wonder, is, uh, is it gonna end with me? Am I, am I the last one of my generation that's gonna say, this is important? Traveling this stretch of U.S. Highway 80 from Selma to Montgomery, the same path the marchers marched, you can almost still hear their voices on the wind. We gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. We wanted to shed the light of day on what was happening when it was dark, and that's what that movement brought out. Dogs and horses had begun to push their way into the crowd, just trampling over people as if they weren't human beings. Five decades later, life in Selma is for many residents still a grinding struggle. Since 1965, the city's population has dropped by a third. Many businesses have long been out of business. As in most small southern towns, there are pockets of old world gentility, but more than 40% of the people who live in Selma do so in poverty and lurking below all that Spanish moss in the city's oldest cemetery, there are ever-present reminders of a past not old enough to be considered ancient history. Even the bridge remains named for the Confederate general who was also the head of the Alabama Ku Klux Klan. Where the battle for voting rights was waged and won in 1965, electing an African-American mayor would still take another 35 what happened in Selma and what happened in Ferguson are largely viewed as an issue of white versus black. But it's also about daylight versus the darkness. The concerns raised by Ferguson and the lessons taught by Selma, though different in many of the details, are bringing the issues that have long lingered in the shadows back into the sunshine. Whether we discuss them or dismiss them, many hard truths remain, and until they're resolved, can we say that old bridge in Selma has really been crossed? You know, when you're 90, you keep wondering what's going to happen around the next corner. And that is, that's what I keep thinking. I can't, I can't come home now, God, because I got to see what's going to happen <laughs> around this next corner. Let it shine, let it shine.